YouTuber Nikita Dragon, an influencer, was arrested earlier this week in Florida and was misgendered after being placed in a men's prison. Now, according to reports, officials with the Miami-Dade Corrections and Rehabilitated from that Rehabilitation Department, excuse me, are disputing allegations that beauty influencer Nikita Dragon, a trans woman arrested in Miami earlier this week, was placed in a men's unit in jail. Now, Dragon, who was 26, who has millions of followers on YouTube with various social media platforms, was accused of creating a disturbance at a South Beach hotel, walking around his pool naked and then throwing water on a police officer on Monday. She appeared at Miami Dade Bond uh, Court Tuesday, where she asked Judge Mindy Glazer if she could be moved out of a men's facility. But MDCR spokesperson Juan Diaz Granado, uh, Granados. Diaz Granados, that's a long ass last name, but let me do it again. MS, um, MDCR spokesperson Juan Diaz Granados said Thursday, the agency wanted to push back against Dragon's allegations, which were reported in multiple national publications and created a firestorm on social media. Now Dragon never made it beyond the booking process prior to release, therefore she was never placed in a men's unit. Diaz Granados said, all inmates undergoing our intake process remain in an open seating, open booking area in the presence of correctional staff. Additionally, inmate Dragon was placed in a holding cell by herself due to her high profile status before being released, and she was escorted by an LGBTQ officer during her time at the corrections facility. Diaz Granado said MDCR is committed to protecting the rights of the transgender community and of all LGBTQ people, and said the agency has procedures in place for the appropriate intake, housing, and medical needs of transgender inmates, and we are committed to ensuring that all inmates in our custody, including transgender persons, are treated in, uh are treated appropriately almost said inappropriately are treated appropriately throughout our intake classification and placement process. It might be this damn whiskey. I'm gonna stop drinking. Um, he said all of these procedures are followed by dragging's bookings and release. Nikita's rep Jack Katsoyan told TMZ the situation with Nikita, who is legally female, being placed in a men's unit at a Florida jail is extremely disturbing and dangerous. Katsoyan continues, this decision made by the Miami-Dade County Corrections Department directly violates their protocol, which mandates that trans inmates are classified and housed based on safety needs and gender identity. Now, who do we believe this? Because Nikita's people and Nikita is saying that she was placed in a men's facility, but the Miami-Dade people's is saying the corrections department is saying that they didn't do that. Who do we believe? I don't know. Nikita has had now on one hand, I say this: Nikita has had a, a history of outing celebrities, telling stories, fibbing for attention, that sort of thing. We're not gonna hold that against her in this situation. If she says that she was held in a men's facility, if her people are saying that this is what happened, then we should be inclined to believe it. Correct unless proven otherwise. There are times where, yes, in the facility of police department, um, that trans people are not treated equally. I'll say in my experience, there was a time, once upon a time, not long ago, I was arrested and for assault, had a misdemeanor, paid the fine, did my community service. Yes, it is what it is. It happened back in the day. It's water under the bridge. Um, but what had happened was when I went into book it and child, this is the worst because this is on the weekend and you know, on the weekend, you don't see the judge until Monday morning. So if y'all ever do anything crazy and I'm not encouraging criminal activities, but if y'all ever do it, don't do it on the weekend because you will be there the whole weekend, child. But anyway, so, um, what happened was I wound up going when I went through the book and fingerprints, all that other stuff, took the picture, you know, the, the typical walkthrough. They asked you, because I just come from the club and yeah, I was wearing an outfit that pretty much screamed gay. <laughs> they asked you, do you want to go to the regular facility or you want to go to the alternative one? Which basically meant LGBT. So I was placed in a cell with other LGBTQ people, which is what they should have did with her if they didn't know she was trans. But I'm sure being that she's a high profile figure and she's well known as Nikita Dragon, they pretty much probably knew her tea already. 
So I don't know what to believe. I don't know. It could be, it's at this point, their word against Nikita's word. But I do know this. Um, I'll keep abreast of the story as if it develops. I think the trans community definitely, I, I definitely want to hear, like, if you're a person who is transgender and has had this experience of discrimination in, uh, like, going through booking or police, you know, the, any kind of police situation, I definitely want to hear your stories. So definitely, you know, leave that down below in the comments. So, you know, when this plays back, I definitely want to hear what you guys think of this because this is definitely a story that I think more people need to talk about. And we need to know, like, okay, that discrimination does go on not only in the police force, but in correction facilities and things of that nature. So... It's definitely a conversation that needs to be had. So definitely leave your comments down below. And like we said before, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff to all my social media.